But my current beef right now, there's low-rise jeans. Have you seen them, people? Yeah. yeah. I've seen a couple of you girls with them on out here, too. God bless you. So jealous. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I meant that in a kind and loving way. Oh, I would have preferred if the eye patch had come back and style people. <laughs> At least I would have had a chance there. But if you can't, haven't noticed, there's a whole generation of girls, possibly some of you, prancing around with the back triangle, your thong hanging out of your pants. Sadly, I'm old enough to remember when just a little tiny bit of your slip showing was embarrassing. <laughs> Most of you people don't even know what a slip is, do you? <laughs> After the show, I'm gonna take you all on a field trip to the Smithsonian to see one. Yeah, now the butt crack is the new erogenous zone, the new cleavage. <laughs> and butt crack girl, wherever she is, God bless her, she's a superhero. Yeah, and her supernatural abilities include killing off IQ points with just a flash of a crack. That's right and single-handedly saving the tattoo industry. God bless America. But if butt crack girl's gonna be a superhero, and I think she is, and she deserves a themed introduction like every superhero, don't you think? Yeah. Yes. So wherever women strive to be taken seriously for their character or intellect, out of the definitely not smoky west side of the ice house, in a flash will appear Butt crack girl, here to promote female objectivity and fight male boredom. It's butt crack girl. <laughs> oh, come on, people, I showed you my butt. <laughs> it is not my best feature. Baby's got no back. That's a genetic defect coming from a very long line of Caucasians. That'd be funny if I showed you my butt crack for real, huh? <laughs> Sadly, I'm old enough to know when to keep the cottage cheese in the carton. 